it's me alicia welcome back to our channel i hope you guys are all doing well and keeping cool because out here it is so hot and it's not even at its hottest yet so i hope you guys are really staying cool but anyways y'all i have a new unit from one of my favorite vendors af sister wig so if you guys are interested in this unit definitely check the description box down below where everything is going to be listed for you guys but anyways listen you guys definitely need to get your hands on this unit because i am in love this is af sister wigs brand new invisible adjustable strap 360 lace wig so you guys can see these invisible visible cords here this is going to help with making your install much easier because it's going to adhere to the nape of your neck i'm going to be showing you guys the glueless method that i use it is foolproof and you don't have to use any adhesives this is how the unit looks directly out of the box you guys can see that gorgeous virgin curly texture this unit does feature the 360 like i mentioned before the length that i have mine in is a 20 inch the density is 150 percent and it does feature their Swiss delicate hairline which also comes pre-plucked with bleach knots 13 by 6 inches of parting space so you guys can do a side part so what I do to prepare my 360 is co-wash the hair you can just use a spray bottle but I like to go in and wash the hair pretty good and then I like to pin the hair up so that it's out of the way now if you want baby hairs in the back you can keep them out or you can put them away whichever you choose but I like to go in and tweeze it a little bit because I do find that it's a bit too dense for my liking. Of course, if you don't choose to tweeze, you don't have to. I'm really not taking that much hair out. You guys can see it looks a bit different, but not much of a difference. Also, don't forget to remove those loose strands. <laughs> you don't want to forget about that. But now what I'm going to do is lay the front part of my unit. <laughs> So the hair is in a virgin curly texture which makes doing a wash and go extremely effortless. I like to wet the hair once again and then take my Aussie Miracle Curls leave-in conditioner and apply a generous amount to the hair. I also like to rake my fingers and then take a detangling brush to go through the hair to further define those curls and you guys can see just how gorgeous they are. But now I'm going to show you guys how I do my glueless method on a 360. What I do is pin the hair upwards. You definitely Definitely want to do that and then you can wet it again but you want to go in with a lot of mousse the purpose of doing this is pretty much to create a cast it's not going to be too crunchy but it's going to hold the hair up good enough and then I take either a paper strip or an elastic strap and then I apply that to the edges of course you want to put it in the front as well because we're laying the front and the back and then you want it just to dry this is going to make it so when the hair is dried it is laid and you don't have to put in any work <music> So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off that lace. I like to take some small shears and just go around the perimeter of the entire unit. Don't forget the back because this is a 360. And once the lace is cut off, I'm going to use some lace tinted spray to spray throughout the back. So as I mentioned before, this unit does include their invisible clear adjustable strap on the back end of your 360. You would use that to tighten up the back of your wig so it doesn't lift up. So if you plan to wear this gluelessly like I am, you will not have to adhere this down. Another thing that I love about the clear invisible strap is that it makes the unit really snug on your head. So no matter what your head size is, it fits like a glove. This unit also features their delicate clear Swiss HD lace so you guys can see it melt 
right down into my skin. What I'm going to do now is adhere the unit down. I like to use my Bedhead Hardhead Mini Hairspray and I just spray a bit of it on my forehead and then I blow dry it down. I like to do this a few times just so that it becomes extremely tacky because we don't use glue over here. I want to keep my edges. They're already pretty bad. But then I apply the unit on top of that. It feels extremely tacky so it's going to stick down. You guys can see that that clear lace is looking very very clear you can go in and spray a bit more of that hairspray in case the ear tabs are sticking up or any small pieces of areas that didn't adhere properly and then take an elastic band to further melt it down So as far as styling, I decided to do some dramatic baby hairs with this unit because the girls on the website also had dramatic baby hairs. So I kind of want to show you guys how you can obtain that same look. So what I'm just doing here is cutting down some of the hair in the front and then I like to take a bit of my mousse and just apply it to that section and then you just kind of swoop. I mean later on once the edges dry down, I do fluff them out a little bit just so they're not plastered to my face. Um, but yeah, we're just going to use an Plastic band just to help it dry down a bit again I'm going in and refreshing those curls by using my water some mousse and my dim and brush what that meltdown is looking like as you guys can see it's definitely giving skin and of course that texture I'm absolutely loving these curls they're extra defined and this is where the hair falls on me again it's 20 inches long and it's definitely a good length now here are the angles of the hair now I am five foot eight so you guys can see what my length looks like on my height and the density is hundred and fifty percent so it's very natural so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the hair up so you guys can can see what that 360 hairline looks like now one thing I will say is that if you're going to be using this adjustable strap here make sure you do it before you adhere the wig down because I had to lift the wig in order to grab it like I told you guys before there's a little leverage and you pull it and you guys can see how it tightens the back and I did not use any adhesives or glue so it was now conformed to the back of my neck so if you do plan on doing activities where you're going to be moving around a lot or you're going to be around Around a lot of people definitely use some kind of adhesives but for those of you who are just wearing it casually you don't have to okay so again y'all this unit does come from AF sister wigs let me know what you guys think of this one all of the details will be listed down below for you guys I'll catch you later bye guys